All right, so we've, dis- we've discussed a lot about what your life has been like sort of chronologically. Yeah. Um, but I want to talk more about what it's like today. Today, okay. And use, use that to kind of compare to how, you know, to link back to how it's changed over time to sort of look at it in the framework of aging. Okay. So, um, so what is your life like today? What do you do for work? I'm working as a project engineer with the housing authority. Uh-huh. Uh, I've been doing that since 10, July of 2010. So what does that make? Uh, a little over nine years. Nine, yeah. Um, and uh, basically, I, uh, as a project engineer, I just work on projects that, uh, and make sure it's quality control and uh, <clears throat> what we are, uh, that we made contracted to receive, that uh, we are receiving and that the quality of what we will be getting is up to um, code yeah. and uh, manufacturer's requirements. Yeah. And also to see that, uh, that when the bills are submitted from our construction manager, yeah. I review them to make sure that they are timely. Uh-huh. By that I mean that if they've done uh, 30% of the work on something, that they are only charging us for 30% and they're charging us for 35%. Uh So so it's about keeping uh, all of that on course because you could arrive at a place where uh, they have been paid in full and you only have 85% of the product. Right. And uh, so that's uh, another of my job responsibilities. Yeah. Um, are you considering retiring anytime soon? Yeah. Uh, probably, I would say, five years. Yeah. If everything goes right. It's part of my uh, plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although it sounds a little feeble. But uh, I have started collecting um, Social Security. At Social Security maxed out at uh, my 70th birthday. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, for someone my age it would have been 65 would have been full retirement uh, benefits but in some kind of sleight of hand how it works is that uh, for it is the amount you receive is based upon how much you've earned yeah. and when you earned it uh, if you earned the same amount 40 years ago as you would have today you get a higher level yeah. It's time value of money. Yeah. Um, so, and you have a minimum number of years to be working. And I don't know. They put it into a big black box. That, uh, right. we, it's not so important, uh, but to say that uh, they come up with a number for yeah. you based yeah. on uh, your what you've put in and when you put it in. And you can start receiving benefits earlier than that, as much as three years earlier, yeah. or I could have, at 62. Yeah. However, for every year that earlier that you begin, yeah. you receive eight percent less per year. Okay. Um, and that is the amount that you receive. Period. Wow. I mean, it doesn't increase except for cost of living increases. Yeah. Um, so it's minus sixteen percent if you start two years early. Minus twenty-four uh, percent if yeah. you start three years early. Um, and that 8% increase continues after maximum. Yeah. So by starting at uh, five years after that, I get 40% more than I would have gotten if I had started when I was 65 and first eligible and I was working. So yeah. I, I can do that, but now that I am receiving that, that I am basically banking that. Yeah, so it sounds like you're, you're, you're banking on, um, on your health. I'm banking on my health. That's exactly right. That's and, good. Good jump ahead on that. Yeah. 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 Um, so you're you're guessing that by waiting longer to take your benefits, that you're uh, you're going to be able to take advantage of it by living longer. I am going to need to take advantage of it because I uh, hope yeah. to live longer. 
yeah. and I have uh, organized my life so that I uh, am, I hope to, to live longer at least from the respect of diseases, yeah. uh, disease avoidance. Now this is not anything to do with getting hit by a bus yeah. or falling out of a building. Yeah. But, um, that has nothing to do with age. It has nothing to do with age, that's right. But of course it would put a big crimp in the plants if I got hit by a bus. Yeah. But, you know, at this point, uh, I am uh, able to do the work physically yeah. and mentally. Yeah. Uh, and nobody says, you're old. You've got to stop. <laughs> you know, because yeah. there's no uh, mandatory retirement age Good. where I work. This is something that I looked into. Yeah. And uh, I am working at a law job that has uh, lower professional requirements for me than I have handled uh, in job capacities before. Uh -huh. Say, I would measure that by stress level. Yeah. Um, it's less stressful. It does not require, say, the overtime yeah. uh, that some jobs is mandatory. Yeah. Uh, and the intimidation, personal intimidations, uh, other stressors are not there. So I say this is a good thing for longevity. Yeah. And it's and it's not a um, an unusual um, tactic. Yeah. Uh, to uh, do something like that, to go to a job that uh, is less than you have done. I mean, in my case, it was spurred by the um, recession yeah. and being out of a job and looking at what was available yeah. uh, at that time. And that was what was available at that time. And in fact, it was a while before the kind of jobs that I had before began to be available. Yeah. So, and now I, I, I'm bothered by people sending me requests to yeah. come in for interviews. Yeah. Like, eh. <laughs> that, that must be nice. <laughs> Thinking about where I am right now in my career, it's like, that's, that must be nice. <laughs> uh, it's a problem because I know yeah. that uh, 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 as you are talking about that this job, it's yeah. the nicer jobs generally don't have a lot more uh, fidelity. Yeah. Uh, that is not uh, contractual yeah. in that sense. Even I've, I've been let go by people I liked yeah. and who liked me. Yeah. And it's just the way they're not, uh, they're, the firm's income is dropped. Yeah. They were reliant on a, a, a specific client for the work that I had been uh, supposed to be doing. And they weren't there and yeah. they, um, they cannot just carry somebody. Yeah. So, I mean, I understand that. Uh, and I know that uh, given where we are now that uh, I could go for a job that would uh, pay me, I don't know, say, let's put a number to it, let's say twenty or $30,000 more a year, yeah. and in a year I might be gone if, uh, yeah. if uh, their client, if their job profiles change. Yeah. And that's what I don't want because I don't so, want to be 72 out there looking for a job. Are you feeling pretty comfortable in your job right now? Comfortable? I'm yeah. not sure. I mean, yeah. Do you feel like it's? Um, I mean, you're saying changing would go to a place that has less fidelity. Do you feel like you have fidelity now? Uh, some fidelities. As I look around, um, I'm not being paid a lot more than other people, and uh, I do more. Yeah. I have more capabilities. I think I'm valued. That I'm in known quantity. That I'm, yeah. um, personally, I'm liked. Yeah. Um, and. I've survived uh, two or three rounds of cuts yeah. there, yeah. so uh, they're not likely to just cut me. Yeah. But it could happen. Yeah. It could happen. So, yeah. And uh, your mom figures she's about five or six years away from uh, retiring, which would put me about seventy-six. So it, about the same time. So yeah. about the same time. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Um, so tell me more about what you're, um, you, you mentioned earlier that you're um, taking the steps to protect your well-being and disease avoidance. Yes. What does that look like? And what, how, did you, um, how did you come to that in your life? Well, I had a misspent youth. Uh -huh. um, I mean, I had the bad diet. Yeah. I, uh, I'm going to say that not 
as a, uh, a, a reflection on anybody else. But